Well, let's get some reaction to the news of that missile test from Washington now. The Guardian's US correspondent David Smith joins me. David, um, how have American political and military figures responded to the confirmation of this latest test? Well, there was quickly a statement from the White House saying that the United States uh, strongly condemns uh, this decision, uh, described it as uh, uh, a dangerous and uh, reckless uh, action, uh, a blatant disregard of uh, Security Council resolutions, um, international safety norms, uh, and also said it was destabilizing uh, for the region. Um, uh, the National Security Advisor in the United States, uh, Jake Sullivan, and uh, the Secretary of State, uh, Antony Blinken, have had calls uh, with their counterparts in uh, Japan and South Korea, uh, reaffirming what they call the, uh, the ironclad uh, commitment uh, to security uh, of those uh, countries. Uh, it all, of course, is uh, very different from the reaction we saw five years ago, the last time North Korea launched one of these missiles uh, over Japan. Uh, that, of course, was the presidency of Donald Trump. And um, you may remember he, uh, he talked about Kim Jong-un as, uh, as rocket man. He threatened uh, fire and fury against uh, North Korea before, of course, those, uh, those meetings with Kim. Um, one suspects it'll be a slightly different reaction from, uh, from Joe Biden this time, somewhat more uh, low key. Uh, and of course, we're now living in a very different world where uh, Russia has invaded uh, Ukraine, uh, China continues its ascent, and uh, um, we'll, we'll see how much focus there is on uh, what North Korea is up to. Indeed, and the United States has been conducting drills with partners in the region. All of this, as there is concern about a potential nuclear test next by uh, North Korea. Now, if that does go ahead, what do you think the US response under Joe Biden is likely to be? That's, uh, that's a difficult question. I, I think, uh, like uh, in the last 24 hours, I'm, I'm sure we would see very swift um, statements of uh, condemnation. But would, uh, would the White House go further? Would there be sanctions or even some other kind of uh, response? Um, uh, hard, hard to predict. And I think uh, there is a sense of um, uh, the US is very consumed at the moment uh, with uh, its own domestic affairs and what's happening in, uh, in Russia. The, the last thing Joe Biden needs is, a, is another uh, headache. Um, but, uh, but there is some focus on that region, of course, with uh, Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan, with uh, Joe Biden repeatedly calling China uh, the, the biggest existential uh, threat. Uh, I think we may see uh, a, a re-emphasis on, uh, on North Korea. Uh, there's been a, a record number of missile launches so far this year. They haven't really gained that much American attention with everything else going on. But uh, a nuclear test would obviously cross a, a new uh, line. And uh, I'm sure there would be a very sharp response from the US. Um, and Joe Biden, as he's done in other, in other cases, would be uh, working hard to, uh, to rally Europe and other members of the global community uh, to, to further isolate uh, North Korea. David Smith in Washington. Thank you very much.